Hey everybody, Lev Farm 73 here. It's raining, so uh, it's a couple things I gotta do on my last day off that I wanna go ahead and get knocked out whether it's raining or not. So what I'm doing is, uh, a couple guys asked me, what all do I do with my soil? So I told y'all from now on, I'm gonna show you everything, the good, bad, and the ugly, whether you like it or not, you know. You wanna know what I do, so I'm gonna show you. So this is what I do. All right, I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about. What this is is the salad that uh, me and Lady Led always eat. If I can't grow it from my garden, we go and get this stuff. So when we're done with the container, all we do is fill these containers full of coffee grounds, eggshells, and all the food scraps that we eat inside the house lettuce that don't get eaten stuff that goes bad like uh, organic type of lettuce and whatever else all right here's my big bucket that i usually keep next to the kitchen okay that's an old pie don't tell nobody that i didn't eat my cousin pie <laughs> eating that shit <laughs> brought that mess over for the holiday y'all know how family is they bring this over and then they add wonder why don't nobody eat that shit I ain't eating your pie. I seen how you live. Anyway, look, hope that, <laughs> hope he don't see this video. But look, all this shit, even that pie, sweet potato pie, eating that. Uh, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I'm going to set this up here so you can see this how simple I make it right here. See that hole? I dug that hole right there. That's the one where the werewolf dug that hole back up and took that chicken out of there, right? Well, I thought about it. All he did me was a favor. So usually I dig big holes around, and y'all y'all have seen me do it, around my trees and everything else. And I just put the compost, the dead squirrels, the dead beavers, the dead chickens, all of that stuff. I put that right in the hole. So all I'm all he did for me was dig the damn hole for me. So all I'm gonna do is act like this is a landfill of compost and dump all of that in that hole and cover it up and that's going to feed everything because right now if y'all can't see at this angle i'm in my uh tropical circle that feeds everything in here okay the banana trees the persimmon trees the elephant ears i don't do none the wood chips all that stuff feeds it itself so i don't come in here and throw in fertilizer and all that stuff this is what i do you dig a hole put it in so let's get at it because i'm getting moist so let's start with this stuff. Is this simple? Y'all know I'm not a complicated guy as far as uh, how I do my gardening. And these containers, once they done, throw them in a the recycler. Look at all that old coffee. Throw them in a the recycler so they don't hit the, the landfill. And they can get recycled and turned into one of them coffee mugs or something that I drink out of. I've been holding off. I've been so busy. I ain't been able to. Ooh, look at that. That got all kind of good stuff living in it already. Once they get so full, let me see. Can you see all this stuff moving around? Gnats and whatnot. All that stuff. One more. See, we accumulate this stuff constantly, just like you in your house. You accumulate this stuff constantly. And you don't ever think about it because you just throw it in the trash can. But if you start saving it in a five gallon bucket, look at that. Now y'all seen, I just got rid of uh, five of those containers. Each one of those is about a gallon, maybe two gallon and a half worth of stuff. Here you go with this, okay? five gallon bucket you'd be surprised how much crap you throw away that you could be using in your garden I'm gonna rinse my bucket out and I'm gonna try that all over again so real quick tip on how I do it yeah I forgot my shovel hold on okay got my shovel so all I'm gonna do now is you see the big compost pile is zoom in on that slop 
nothing special with it old sweet potato pie banana peels look at all this good stuff banana peels eggshells coffee grounds old pie pot sweet potatoes and all this good stuff that you normally would throw right in the trash i even got some old if you can see that some old uh cardboard in there and some grocery bags i like to get uh paper grocery bags when i can so i can reuse them just like this i take that and i just fill it back up let's get all the way down bring it out a little so you can see what i'm doing just cover it up and if something want to come in here and dig around in that mess it's welcome it ain't gonna do nothing it ain't gonna hurt me ain't nothing in there that i want all i'm doing now look at that there's bulbs everywhere in here that's a uh teacup bulb right there told you this stuff grow like wildfire y'all old oranges and they say don't put citrus in there <sighs> look at that they say don't put all this stuff in there look at that see that little worm i don't do worm castings y'all if you build your soil can you see both of them in that one little school if you build your soil you got your worm castings. You don't gotta buy that stuff. Concentrate on building your soil. Feed your soil and the worms will come. Build it and they will come. <laughs> so let me finish this up. It's the truth. That's it. See all of that? Mash that on there. That's it. Now, gotta reset this trap here. Look at this, look at this, all these worms. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to show y'all that real quick of what I do because a couple of guys out there really want to know and I'm really going to show you. Dig a bunch of holes around the area that you planting, like around these trees and every. I got all these trees planted. All I do, I dig a hole and I fill that hole full of compost before it's even broken down straight out the kitchen. Put your kitchen scraps right into the ground. You, or put them in the chicken coop and let them break down. I don't sit around and just let this stuff uh, be turning it and sitting. That's too much work. You don't have to do that. You can. I don't. And it works, as y'all can see. You know, check out a couple of my videos. That's what I do, all right? Thanks for watching, Live Farm 73. I love you and I'm out.